I now start out with the more technological offerings that I would see. You know, I think that uh, one thing that you could expect from layers is that we come up with um, mathematical, algorithmical, um, or model-oriented innovation in terms of a software. You know, like kind of the conceptual part of it and the software part of it, meaning open source software components that we, we might want to offer um, to the, the wider community. Second one is conceptual offerings, which means a concept how to solve um, some of the issues that are there out there that we identified as important um, and that we deem are relevant not only for a couple of individual users but for many users. I mean this is kind of a differentiation, differentiating factor that I see in, in layers that um, we're focused on problems and issues and challenges and opportunities um, to, to be created for a wider community of organizations and institutions and people working together. So that's the second part of, of an offering and of course we will also offer I think expanded or new theories. So offering theories to the academic community is also something that I think is relevant. And the fourth one would be um, that we offer actual experience, you know. In a, in, a, in, a, in a good format. Like I could envision, for example, a couple of videos that actually explain the most important lessons learned or best practices that we identified in layers. And I think, you know, this approach already that we, that actually you, Pablo, you're, you know, to be credited for this, uh, brought into the project of trying to collect the material that we got already in order to connect with, out with the wider community. Uh, I think this is a, a special offering and we can methodologically actually um, also offer support or coaching about how to do that for EU-funded research projects.